Well, greetings viewers and voyeurs with Got That Funk. The other day I did a video called GTF's Promiscuity Quiz. Some of you watched it, which I do appreciate, and six of you took the time to try to answer all the questions, which I particularly appreciate. So thanks to Extremely Boring, Kazoom Fowler, Kyle, Chris, Joe, and Agnil for answering the questions. Um, I think Kazoom, Extremely Boring, and was it Agnil? No, um, yeah, Agnil all scored the same with 33, even though each person got a different number of questions correct, and I'll explain the, the way I scored it at the end of this video. But uh, anyway, let's just get on with answering the questions because otherwise this video is going to take forever. Question number one. At what age did GTF lose his virginity? B. 17. Question number two. What song was playing when GTF lost his virginity? A. Disco Inferno by The Tramps. I was listening to the soundtrack to Saturday Night Fever at the time. Uh, question number three. True or false? Fifteen minutes after losing his virginity, Got That Funk's girlfriend was in bed with another guy. True. Question number four. How much time transpired between losing his virginity and his second sexual experience? The answer to that is D, more than a year. Question number five. How many virgins has Got That Funk slept with? The answer to that is B, only one. All of those answers were pretty much covered in my video called Crushing My Cherry. Um, pretty much all the questions in this quiz you can find the answers to either on the videos themselves or in the comment sections of the videos, um, which I have in a playlist called Love, Relationships, Sex, and Raising Kids, or some combination of those words. I can't remember which way around they are. Anyway, I'm going to leave a link to that playlist in the description box below if you're really interested in finding out more. Question number six, how many women did Got That Fung sleep with just once before he finally had a repeat sexual partner? The answer to that is five, which was B. Question number seven, this was a tricky one. Okay, this is the one that had uh, the scoring go a bit, a bit funky, right? Because um, for every decade that was correct, you answered, if you answered one decade correctly, you got three points for getting it correct. But if you missed one, then I took a point off. So here's the, here's the question. GTF has had sex with women born in which of the following decades? A, the 1920s, B, the 1930s, C, the 1940s, D, the 1950s, E, the 1960s, F, the 1970s, G, the 1980s, and H, the 1990s. All of those except for A. I've never had sex with anybody in the 1920s who was born in the 20s, but all those other decades I have. You can judge me if you like. Quite frankly, I don't give a damn what you think. Um, it's all good fun, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, let's get on with the questions here. Eh? Question number eight. True or false? GTF has never had sex with anyone born the same year as himself. That's true, actually. Uh, I can't explain why it's true exactly. Um, all the women I've slept with who are more or less my age were either born the year before me or the year after me. I uh, never had a sexual partner um, that I went to school with in my own year, so never, never been with anybody born my year. Simple as that. Question number nine, how many times has GTF paid to have sex? The answer to that is D, five. Question number ten, true or false? Got That Funk has never been paid to perform sex acts. That's true. Um, I'm not saying I wouldn't take money to perform sex acts. Far from it. It's just no one's ever offered me money. <laughs> Why would they, right? Anyway, question number 11. True or false? Got That Funk has never had a sexually transmitted disease. I'm afraid the answer to that is false. Every single person I'm acquainted with well who is sexually active when they're single has caught something at some point, and I fall into that category because when I'm single, I don't necessarily keep it buttoned up, you know. It depends on the period of my life we're talking about. But generally speaking, uh, when I'm single, I am sexually active when I want to be. And uh, yeah, STDs, they're out there, man. And they will get you if you fool around too much. Question number 12, true or false? Scott That Funk is circumcised. True. 13, how many genital piercings does Got That Funk have? Uh, most of you probably already know this, but I was a body piercer for 14 years, so if you answered none, yeah, I'm sorry, uh, that's just not me. I've got seven, which was D. Question number 14, how many of those are in its penis? None, that's A. 
Question number 15, true or false? Scott that Funk has never had sex outdoors. False. What kind of a sheltered life would I have led if I'd never had sex outdoors? I mean, please. I can't imagine why anybody got that question wrong. Question number 16, true or false? GTF has never had sex in front of an audience. That's false. Um, when I was uh, engaged to marry my first wife, uh, she actually crashed my bachelor party. And we ended up having sex on the floor in front of everybody. Yeah. <laughs> They didn't seem to care either. Uh, it might have been the ecstasy. Who knew? Question number 17. How many sexual partners has Got That Funk had in his lifetime? The answer to that is 45, which was D. Question number 18. True or false? Got That Funk has never tried bondage. False. Uh, true or false? Number 19. Got That Funk is too proud to use sex toys with his partner. <laughs> Of course that's false. I'm not that uptight, Jesus. In fact, I actually love sex toys, and um, if I ever have a long-term romantic relationship again, I'm pretty much going to insist on it. <laughs> I, I seriously doubt I'll have to, uh, to beg very much. Question number 20. Got that Funk would rather go down on her than have her go down on him. A. True. B. False. C. GTF will only do mutual. D, only on Sundays, or E, GTF hates oral sex either way. Well, E is preposterous, but even so, someone actually did say E for one of their answers. The answer is, in fact, true. If given a choice between one or the other, I will definitely choose to go down on her rather than have her go down on me. And, and quite honestly, that to me is a no-brainer. Uh, question number 21. When combining food with sex, GTF prefers A. Chocolate B. Whipped cream C. Peanut butter D. A cucumber or E. A warmed cantaloupe The answer is C. Peanut butter. Um, I understand why people thought chocolate. You know, chocolate tastes nice and it's one of my favorite things in the universe, but quite frankly, it's too sticky and uh, it makes a horrible mess. And uh, believe it or not, you know, I like things tidy. Peanut butter comes right off and it tastes delicious. So peanut butter, that, that, that's what I'm up for. Question number 22, true or false? GTF has never engaged in a sex act with a man. That's true. Never had any kind of sexual contact with a man. Uh, the only thing that even could be considered close to that is one time a man kissed me in a nightclub. Um, but I don't consider that a, a sex act. A single kiss anyway is not a sex act. Um, Kissing, you know, like, you know, ongoing kissing, you might consider that a sex act, but I don't really consider a single kiss a sex act. Number 23, true or false, it would be impossible to find footage anywhere on the internet of GTF having sex. That is true. I've never recorded myself having sex, except for in the old days on uh, 8mm videotape. So, and those tapes don't exist anymore. So, ever since the internet was invented, uh, no footage could be downloaded to it of me having sex. Therefore, I know for a fact it's impossible to find any such footage. Do I sound nervous? <laughs> anyway, uh, 24, true or false? Got That Funk has never been part of a threesome. That's false. Uh, one of my favorite sexual experiences uh, was my threesome experience. And uh, yeah, I long for that kind of thing to happen again. But you have to be very careful about the, uh, the people that you choose to involve yourself with when it comes to threesomes because it's very easy for people to fall out or have misunderstandings and uh, quite frankly unless you're a hundred percent sure just don't do it last but not least true or false got that fungus coming to get you of course that's false what am I a creep I'm not coming to get anybody it's not my style I, I prefer people to come and get me I want to thank you for watching this video um, extremely boring you scored 33 points well done a hey, nil you scored 33 points well done um, who else scored 33 points? There was one more person. That, oh, uh, Kazum Fowler, you scored 33 points. Well done. Uh, Kyle, you scored 28. Not bad. Chris, the Asperger guy, you scored 21. I'm afraid you're at the bottom of the totem pole, my friend. But at the top of the pole is my friend Joe, who scored a whopping 45 points. So, serious mind, congratulations. You are the winner of the prize, and the prize is either a drawing by me or painting by me. It's absolutely up to you. We can discuss that in a private message on Facebook since we're friends over there on Facebook. All right. Um, 
I, I, I need a shower now, man. I, I've actually broke out into sweat because uh, a little bit nervous uh, coming clean with all these answers. But I'm not ashamed of anything I've ever done. And uh, you can go ahead and judge me uh, for all I care. Um, you know, rip me to shreds if you want to in the comment section. It's just about having fun here. I want to thank you again for watching this video. And until next time, people, may all your ups and downs be ups.